LSU has to shoot it within three seconds. Wright kicks it in. Pull up shot from distance. Leaves it short and now Nichols with this possession can win the game. Nichols down by one. Eight seconds. Six seconds. West kicks it out. This for the victory. He got it. He got it. He got it. Jamin White has virtually won the game for the Nichols Colonels. There's less than a second to go. It's a mad scramble down the stretch as Jamal West struggles for possession, kicks it over to him, and he immediately launches it for the jumper. You see, as soon as it gets into his hands, Jordan Wright just a little late to get over there defensively, and the Colonel's bench going crazy when they just do the baseball curl pass. Will Baker has come back into the game. Here's the hurl downfield to Baker. The seven-footer's got it. Fades, fires. Oh, comes up short. Baker did a great job of finding possession and roaming down low. That pass, which is difficult to do from one baseline to the other, was on target. Baker had a difficult shot. It would have won the game, or at least it would have tied the game had it gone. It did not. And the Nichols Colonels have come to Baton Rouge and have upset the LSU Tigers in a game of tremendous emotion and tremendous high tide and low tide for both teams.